A for Kelly Clarkson. Bye, Ellen Girl. Goodbye. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click that bell button so you'll be the first to know. When I upload, I really appreciate if you do subscribe and click that bell. Icebreaker question. I haven't been asking icebreaker questions. What's up with y'all? What y'all been doing? So I like to keep things a secret, especially when it comes to me, because I feel like I, I believe in jinxing, right? But whatever. I'm going to say it um, because usually when I say about it, I end up falling out. So I'm talking about weight loss, okay? I've been trying to like just drink water. And, you know, I had two salads and one chili today from Wendy's. It's an apple pecan salad, y'all. This is not sponsored, but y'all should really try it. It's really good. Um, and so I've been drinking water. This has been like the third day. Um, I probably just added a little bit too much because I had a chili. But it was a small chili with my salad. It's not, it's not a big deal. But I've been, I've been really trying to um, just just omit the late night sleeping. And, and this is why I haven't been doing the live in like the past three, four days at late night. Just talk to y'all. Because y'all know, like I talk to y'all, right? You know, I view y'all as family. Y'all not just subscribers. You guys know Miss Torio, you know, Miss Banks, you know, Miss Queen J, you know. Um, shout out to uh, uh, Gmail Hines, y'all know, and, and other people that show up on, on my channel and do my live stream. So, uh, I've been trying to just like get my life together because I need to change my routine in order to reach the success that I want to get. And so if anybody want to come on board and do this weight loss stuff together, we can talk about it. Um, on patreon.com forward slash J O A J O A. Um, you know, I appreciate your $5 or more donation or simply if you can't do it, which I understand. Um, we could just, you can just comment below my comments on my YouTube page on my community page. But yeah, I, I've been just, I've been trying, y'all, because eating is like my drug when I'm stressed, when I'm depressed, when I'm bored, I eat, and I'm trying to stop doing that so I can get back to where I was a year, two years ago when I was 80 pounds less than I was now. So let's get to the video. So there were rumors actually that Tiffany Haddish was actually going to be the replacement for Ellen DeGeneres. But you guys, you guys got to understand, Tiffany Haddish, I say Haddish because it's a Middle Eastern um, last name, but... Her, her rise of stardom is really big and, you know, there's rumors for a girl's trip too. And so I would personally think that if Tiffany Haddish would have took the job, then Warner Brothers or somebody else got to pay her millions and millions of dollars. You're not about to ruin uh, a, a great career with uh, an African-American woman who's on the rise with her career, who just won uh, an award. I Forgive me. I think she won a... Um, uh, a Tony or something. I know she won something. And so she's on the rise with her career. And so I personally feel like a talk show would definitely um, sucker punch her for the lack of better words uh, with her stardom because talk shows, they shoot like nine months out the year. And Tiffany, she's an actress. She's a comedian. She needs to tour. She needs to do movies. And, you know, she really don't got time for a talk show. So, you know, they gave it to Kelly Clarkson. Now, not to discount Kelly Clarkson because her first year she won multiple awards. She got like over a million subscribers on YouTube, uh, a huge fan base, a huge following. She's relatable. I don't like to compare, but she's like the modern day uh, Ricky Lake. You know, she's relatable to humans. Um, I know like people behind the scenes are in her ear telling her that she needs to lose weight for the show to be on TV. But nah, bro, let, let the woman live and let her be the way she want to be. Her weight goes up and down. And that's just how it is in normal society. So that's, that's what a lot of people like about her. She's relatable. Uh, the industry really didn't change her a bit. And so um, she's not really jaded by the, the change of the industry and it didn't really change her. And that's why She's been literally in, in people's homes and people play her music all the time because like she didn't sell her soul to the industry and God loves her and she's doing really well. All right. I would tell you who probably pissed off besides Ellen DeGeneres, Steve Harvey, because y'all got to remember Steve Harvey got fired from his number four daytime talk show. Great, great ratings, great following. And he got fired once he had Monique on that show, in my opinion. And he said what he said. I'm not going to really get into it. I got into it already about about what they went back and forth about and stuff. Watch the interview and you'll see for yourself. So I know he pissed off. I know he probably pissed right now saying, how the hell this girl got uh, on a number one daytime slot when I was on that show for seven years and they kicked my ass off. And the way I got fired was how was how you was how these bloggers find out during the news. He got fired and he found out through the blogs. He didn't get called into the meeting to get fired. So I know Steve Harvey, he pissed off. Another person probably pissed off is Ellen DeGeneres because 
Ellen saying, you know, she's quitting after 19 years. I, I personally feel like um, the firing was going to come or like I felt, well, I for one know for sure that I feel that she felt betrayed. And I said this already. She, but she felt betrayed by her watchers. She lost a million viewers. Um, this was kind of like a deja vu moment to when she came out the closet back in the day and she lost her career and she got blackballed. So I personally feel like she felt betrayed and she just like didn't have that that pretend tenacity of, of, of liking her viewers anymore um, with that fakery be kind to one another. So I personally feel like because who quits at 19? That's an odd number, number one. And she said that she would have quit when they came out. No, baby, you on the contract. OK, you can't just simply just say. I'm going to quit. So I don't believe that BS. She lying. She felt betrayed. Either that and then number either another situation was people wanted her show to end. Like if Warner Brothers ain't going to do it, the viewers. And I'll tell you all this all the time. You guys are the board of directors. She lost a lot of viewers. She was under the Kelly Rip and Ryan show, the most boring show on TV. And so that was like her first time being under them. She was always number one. One people choice awards after people choice awards. That rig ass award show. And so now people saw her true colors finally after 18 years. So congratulations to you, Kelly Clarkson. I'm telling you this, please do not change um, because there's one thing with, with looking the way you look on TV with being nice and being relatable. And there's another thing behind the scenes for the people we don't see who work their ass off doing production, doing crew, doing the editing, uh, producing, social media, stuff like that, that we don't see. So, OK, Ellen. I mean, okay, Kelly, girl, just I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you don't change, which I, I'm hoping you don't. I actually met somebody that went to school with you, you know, and he said he knew your number. He told me I should be on the voice because I could sing. I was like, I ain't about to be on the break shows. But, you know, Kelly, congratulations to you. Sorry about your divorce. And keep shining, my friend. Keep shining. And I know Steve Harvey pissed the hell off. Anyways, y'all, I really do appreciate if you uh, support me on patreon.com forward slash J-O-A, J-O-A. Um, that really does mean a lot to me. It'll help me buy a camera, equipment for this channel, um, pay some bills. <laughs> and so um, a lot of y'all in my last video said the view ratings are down. I actually didn't know that. This is like literally the first time we've seen that in the past, what, almost a year. And that's because I personally believe, and I know you guys also believe that it's because of Meg McCain and her her toxicity for the show. Because it's, it's supposed to be a family-friendly, hopefully informative show. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, you guys are the board of directors. I say it all the time. Please do subscribe and click the bell. Thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. Try to eat healthy like I am, y'all. I know this pandemic has caused people to eat, but maybe I've been doing it before the pandemic, so I have no excuse. Deuces. Should I do a live once a week, like on a Friday? We should pick a live date. Let me know in the comments below. Yeah.